Good morning. We're here in a cul-de-sac called Withwood, which is off Rookery Way, which in turn is off of Fox Hill on the southern side of Haywards Heath. And I'm about to show you around this lovely big detached family house, which the family have owned since 1987. They've done various extensions and it's been really well cared for. It does need a little bit of updating, but it's absolutely spotless. Um, and although it has been extended, there is a lot of potential to do further enlargements, including, you'll see in a second, I've, loft, I've brought the loft ladder down so you can get a good idea of the loft. So come and have a look around. Um, it's a lovely cul-de-sac. There's only 12 houses in here, all very large detached houses. And if you've never been over here, Rookery Way, in my opinion, is probably one of the town's best addresses, which you're off. So, as you can see, plenty of driveway parking. Now, don't be misled, there is a double garage door there, but you'll see in a moment, that is an enormous snooker room, but wouldn't take a lot to convert into another room if you wanted to. You'll see that um, the people have put AstroTurf down, even on the front garden and the back garden, for an easy life. Wouldn't take a lot if you wanted proper lawn, but I must say, that does make life very simple. So, come inside. I'm just gonna slip my shoes off. Now, you'll see as we go round, there are lots of lovely big rooms. The footprint of this house is huge. I'd love to know, I don't know what the square footage is at the moment because the floor plan hasn't been done, um, but I'm guessing it's gonna be well over 2000 square feet. So you would like to think this is the main living room, but actually you'd be wrong. Um, we don't know the full history of how it's been extended, but it has been extended in different ways. But as you can see, this room has a fireplace, Back garden, it's a nice big back garden actually, there's more to that than meets the eye, but it's 68 feet wide and I think it's 42 feet deep, so it's a nice chunky garden. Then down the hallway, on the left, you've got another living room. Again, with a fireplace, lots of shelves and little TV plint over there, and that lovely bay window to the front. Next door, what was, would have been partly, the double garage houses a full size snooker table. And if you want, that can be sold with the property. And this was all done, obviously, for a snooker table, but the view was this could be a guest suite or whatever you wish, as it does have a shower room downstairs. And then next door, the kitchen, which we think was partly a kitchen and a separate dining room, has been opened up. So a lovely big kitchen. We lived in a house in the 1980s ourselves, and I think it had exactly the same kitchen as this and very similar bathrooms. Um, and it's a German kitchen, if I'm correct. But what a great big kitchen. Nice family size room. Then you've got a utility room here. I'll take you outside in a moment. But the other side of that wall is a very useful boiler cupboard. So that's the downstairs. So three great big rooms. And of course, come upstairs. Now you would like to think this was probably, was the master bedroom. Great big double and double aspect windows to the front and back. So good size room, you'd agree. However, come over here. Look at this room. This is huge. So a very big master bedroom. It's a four bedroom house, but this could have easily been a very generous five bed with some reconfiguring. You've got options to open up doors back to the hallways if you wanted to. Great big bathroom. So again, that gray colored suite, all spotless, very much ready to move into. I'm sure people are gonna to wanna to make their own changes, but you could certainly walk in here with a suitcase and start living. Across the hall, the smallest bedroom, currently used as the home office, but again, I mean, this doesn't feel that big compared to all the others, but it's still a nice size double bedroom. I'm just gonna work. In fact, let me sneak up the ladder. So I wanted to show you the loft space, because it is huge. So great big loft all the way through to there. You could have easily had another couple of bedrooms up here. And then let's sneak round the ladder without catching myself. One thing I do love is they've got loads of storage on this landing. So they've got a linen cupboard there, more cupboards here. These doors, if you wanted to, could go straight through to that big bedroom if you wanted to separate it. You've got the other big bedroom at the end of the hall. Again, as you can see, twin beds in here. So a great big double wardrobes all along that wall. Good set of bookshelves as well. And then the family bathroom just down there. I mean, look at that, that's a huge suite. And this is absolutely immaculate. I was on BBC Radio Sussex a few weeks ago and uh, there's big talk that the younger generation coming through love all the old retro bathrooms. And can you believe it? they're talking about the avocado suites? But this house, these are 1980s 
uh, bathroom suites, but they are spotless, they are coloured. So all I would say to you is, don't just go ripping them out, thinking oh, I've got to put white bathrooms in. Think about it and bide your time. When I started selling houses in the 1980s, um, if I took on a house that was an old 1930s house and it had the old tiled fireplaces and Bakelite light switches and all those old 1930s character features, we all thought, oh God, you've got to rip it all out and start again. And now, fast forward nearly 40 years, we love an original 1930s house. Can't believe we're gonna say we love an original 1960s or 70s house, but that is what has happened. So like I say, the fact that those bathroom suites are spotless, don't touch them is my advice. This is the little boiler room. So you've got the boiler in here, very handy little workshop. Space down the side with a gateway. And this garden, you can just about see, there's a little shed up in that corner. And this as well has all been laid to AstroTurf for an easy life. Very, very private. We're backing onto Fox Hill, so that's the road down out of town. So if you want to walk through to uh, the hospital, that's in just over what, 0.7 of a mile. Plenty of space around this side. And if I just stand back and have a look at the house, you get a better impression of the space on offer here. So it's a substantial house. Um, the railway station, 1.5 miles. Gatwick Airport is 13, Brighton Seafront is 13 miles. Everything is pretty easy. Now on Fox Hill, you've actually got um, a bus service there running to all the schools. So you've got, you're in, officially in the Warden Park Secondary School catchment area. Um, also children get a school bus from here to go to Chaley Secondary School. And there's gonna be a new primary school built off Hurstwood Lane, which is just at the bottom of Fox Hill. And you can walk down to the Fox and Hounds pub, which is quite nice. So it's a nice spot. So just to recap, it's a big family house in a nice cul-de-sac on the southern side of town. You're a 1.5 mile walk to the station if you need to, although jump on the bus, why don't you? Um, and it is for sale through Mantle McTaggart with no chain. Hope that gives you a good idea. If you're a serious looker, please, please follow us on this YouTube channel as these videos are live generally the day we take the video. And we generally are a few days behind us before the room right move. Thanks for watching. Hope you found that useful.